You either have to leave or we have to call the cops on you. This is a New York State sanctuary site. Yo, they say you are so not allowed way. to film this. <laughs> Hey, we we don't want him arrested. I don't I don't want to deal with that. If it's if it's all the same to you, I so, just want him so off the property. So yeah, so here's it's it's kind of like the easement where he's at right now. So technically, he's he's allowed to be where he's at. He all right, Erie County fam, it's time for part two, which you all been waiting for. Let's recap a little bit of part one, and then we'll get into part two, our investigation on the migrants in the hotels here in Western New York. And the police's opinion of what we're doing here versus what actually is going down. He's technically not breaking the law uh, at, at this point. Um, do you have his name? He he won't give us his name. He's one of those, you know, the sovereign, you know, <laughs> sovereign citizens. Yeah, don't they? This is what he does. I mean, it's his claim to fame. You can look him up on YouTube. So it's so comical when cops call citizens who just know the rights sovereign citizens, considering. We all know who the real sovereign citizens are. It's the ones with the badges who don't need to follow the law and can get away with whatever they want. Those are the real sovereign citizens, fam. And that's why I said before you left us and didn't know what kind of crazy fool this man was, you well, don't let me, know what he's about. Well, we do know what he's about, and Officer Grant already explained that to you. Oh, All man. he wants to do is videotape, and he has that right. This is crazy. I, I just don't want to leave my job and have some psycho. I mean, you might know him from YouTube. I don't yeah. know the man. So Grant said, he's kind of a YouTube celebrity for doing this kind of stuff, and his goal is to catch police officers or people who don't know what they're talking about and to make fools of them online. And that's what he does. He goes to police stations. He goes to hot political points, topics that people care about. But see, that shouldn't even be allowed. It, it is even them har harassing police officers. I don't have no understanding of that shit. And like I explained to Officer Grant, you know, I don't understand why people would want to spend their spare time doing it, but he does. And unfortunately, in this country, we do have the First Amendment rights. Unfortunately, in this country, we do have the First Amendment rights. Which is he? What he's out exploiting? What he's out exploiting and if he you know if we forcefully grab him and throw him into the street and it comes out that you guys don't 100 percent own this property then, then we're gonna get sued and there's a video on it and there's a video on it the things this sergeant of the Cheektowaga Police Department has to say is pretty disturbing, but it's actually disturbing that he would say, and there's a video on it, as if there were no cameras, he might attempt to throw somebody out in the street or violate somebody's civil rights because it's unfortunate that we have them fam no ayudan con nada no sé qué hacen los chavos que da el gobierno a ellos dile a él en inglés eso I can hear you um you said that um what he's basically saying is that he eso no se sabe que eso no se sabe que he's just something that y agua ¿Qué es una compota? ¿Qué es? Una compota es como lo que tú comes los bebés que de manzana, pera, eso que usted le da. Mhm. Yo no en eso sí. He said they give him a small like a small little like sandwich, right? And baby food and water. Listen y'all, these kids want to act up in school, want to go to school and embarrass you. Want to make like they got no home training. So I told my son, don't go to school basketball no more. I take care of you, son. I give you anything you want. I discipline you. But you're gonna bash me like this? No, so now I'm gonna cut his hair. Oh, I gotta pass See you. See how much you can do with all of Hey, do me a favor. Wait, come on, guys. Now I saw you were in a restricted area. Now I want your right on the You're not getting it. Don't embarrass me. I told him, don't embarrass me. No. So the beginning of this clip showed you a bunch of footage from part one where I approached this migrant hotel to investigate what is going on here and what happened was they obviously called the police. The police had an opinion about what I do and who I am, which anybody who watches knows they're dead wrong about my motives and who I am and calling me a sovereign citizen and all. But after the investigation and the police left, one of these migrants approached me and spoke to me and that escalated to a much larger investigation and that's what this video is about fam so we're gonna pick up right where that last video left off and 
show all this migrant had to say, including new footage from visits to the migrant center and trying to get some of this information to the authorities to help these people. So let's get into it, fam. After the police left and headed out, I remained in front of the building and video recorded for a little bit longer and as you'll see some carts coming in with what it looks like hand sanitizer at, later on in this video you're going to see the migrant claim that that's the packages the food comes in and it's not really hand sanitizer. So let's go ahead and get to the part where I walk around the building in that last video this is where it picks up for today. At least they called some stringers here. At this point, I was just getting a few more photographs of the hotel and the goings-ons here, and then I noticed a migrant approaching me and he was standing behind me, so I turned around to check it out, and this is what we got, fam. I can understand what it's saying. I can read this. So. Okay, okay. Friend, I know you're coming because he wants to know information about us. But there is very bad food there, and he treats us very badly when folks there. Latino. And I don't know what to do with the money. They don't help us at all. What Here? they do is give us the food, and they don't treat like they want. Hey, okay. He wants to get away from the hotel because he's forbidden from free speech, fam. Oh, amigo. Oh, Spani. Oh, ahí, ahí tenemos muy mal trato. Oh. ¿A qué país y cuánto tiempo te llevó llegar hasta aquí? Venezuela. Amor. Es que yo estoy aquí con un periodista porque nos pasó algo allá. He eventually got a female on the phone who would translate back and forth to us. ¿Sí me entiende? Tengo que traducirle a quién? Al señor que te está escuchando. Dile a él en inglés eso. I can hear you. Um, you said that, um, what he's basically saying is that he thinks that the lady in charge is being very racist towards um, the Spanish people because every time that the police comes, it's like they, she, well, they always defend her. And he's basically saying how they're not really, um, they're not giving them good food. They're giving them like old expired food and they always keep them inside. Um, he also said that, um, like, what else did he say? Oh, he said that they, every time they try going to like a police or something, that the lady that's in charge always refrains them from talking to them and stuff like that. Uh, can you ask him um, why they can't? Oh, he also said, and he also said that they don't know. Um, like he also said that like they're supposed to help them, like the immigrants, or, like papers and stuff like that. But they don't help them. Like they don't ever to get papers as far as like legal papers. Yeah, because he always tells me how he needs like papers to work and stuff like that. But like the hotel is like they're not helping them with that. It's like they gotta do everything themselves. Um, um and they're not giving them good food there and stuff like that. Ask him when he decided to come to America, he says from Venezuela, ask him why he decided to come here and what they promised him in return to come here or how how he decided to come here like what is the reasoning meaning um did they give incentives like they're going to get him these papers that they're not getting them do they say they're going to help them you know condition into society um stuff like you know like the reasons like I, 
kind of like okay. why, why they came here. Like, are they they came here on a promise from the U.S. government that they're going to be get, gain citizen access? And then the other thing is um, the news calls them asylum seekers. Was there something in the old country that they left that they seek asylum from? Meaning, um, you know, like were they being persecuted for religious per persecution? Where it was it? Um, uh, bad living conditions like a, they they call them asylum seekers. So I was just wondering what asylum that is um, okay. uh, I'm, uh, I'm on Does he feel like a prisoner there? Like, can he leave freely or they really watch him? He says that um, they let him go and stuff, but like, they usually tend to really be on people and they call the police on them and stuff like that. Um, and he also said that like, him, um, he keeps saying that like by him talking to you right now he's gonna get in trouble with them tomorrow or like they're gonna find some type of way to like um i'm not trying to like cuss or people but they'll they're trying, they'll like do anything to fuck him over is what he said in spanish amor y yo vi cuando él y mandaron a pedir Amor, disculpa, amor, y por lo mismo me lo traje para acá, estoy ahorita. He's a little 
bit worried he might not get deported or something because he said that they don't care. They'll sit down and send him off or like call the police on him and like constantly get him in trouble. But he says he doesn't care no more because he's just getting tired of being mistreated. Um, so, in, so in other words, he, he's to the point where getting deported might be better off than the life he's living here? He says no. He says no, no. He doesn't want to be deported. Like, no. He says. No, I'm not saying. I'm not saying that he wants to be deported. Obviously, nobody wanted to be deported. But I'm saying, like, the lifestyle that they're living, he's living under right now. He's willing to risk it because it's not much better from where he came from. Or. Um, and he's like, and he's like, he said, um, he said that like Mommy. Because they're like not eating, right? And then he said that the lady that's in charge was yelling at him. I'm on. Where? Him okay, okay, okay. Moment. I'm on. Where are you from? Are you local here? Yes. I'm on. Dile que man. He said that I've been helping him a lot with like food and stuff like that. Um, but the food that he ate there made him sick. He had to actually take him to the hospital yesterday. Um, he was like really sick. Y aquí tengo las imágenes, mira. Alright, where do you do you know him like personally, like you're relative to him yeah, or you just I know him. Um yes, We were just out in front of somebody's house talking and the guy came out, so we're just moving along real real quick here before yeah, we get the cops called on. Yeah, we're we're a little way, way, we're a ways away from the hotel, but um, okay. is it possible if I come to you now? Can we come to you now? We we can meet at a restaurant. We all get a bite to eat. Yeah. He wants the government to actually sit down and help them, not just say it and not do it. That's what he's saying. But they but, do um, promise to help him get the paperwork, yeah. to get a job, and to support themselves, where he doesn't have to stay in the hotel. Yeah, pretty much. But they kind of want to keep him there. That. Yeah, they're not doing that because. Do you have any idea, or does he have any idea, like the ulterior motive that they wouldn't want to help him get a job, so that they don't have to feed him and, and house because him? Because they get paid because he's there. So the, so the government pays that place to for house these people, say, uh -huh. and the place isn't helping them. They get so paid. Then. He said they get paid a thousand each for an immigrant, and he says and that he's it, supposed it, to. He's like a thousand a week, thousand a month. Um, I think it's a month. If I think, uh, uh, I don't think he'll know about that neither. But he did tell me that somebody in the hotel did mention that. Um. But they pay them for them to live there. Like they, the government pays them for them to live there. But um, he says that he doesn't eat right there. Like they throw out the food constantly, and it's like old food. And um, when they say they throw out the food, like he throws out the food, or no, the, people the people at the that place. Live there. The, the, I'm not lived there. The work there. The work there. Yeah. Like if you like, let's say like. So in other words, they get paid X amount of money to house these people and feed them, and they find the cheapest food possible mm -hmm. and the shittiest food to make more money in their pocket. Yeah, because I constantly see him eating like salt, salt like the cracker, salt yeah. crackers. Like he'll grab it from like a little basket they got there. Really He's not hungry at all. And he's like, "Do you want something hungry?" Some fries, French fries, <laughs> pizza, <laughs> nothing. They brought him like a lot of food him to eat there and he says that like because the, the hospital ended up giving him some type of medication because um like his stomach has been messed up he said he doesn't want to like eat right now but um yeah his stomach has been messed up i don't know if it's because of the food that they've been giving him because um he thought something was really wrong with his stomach we was buying him vitamins we was trying to like buy him stuff she says yeah, that the know, other people won't tell you what he's telling you because she's basically like threatening them and she's they, they, she's like basically keeping them like in a bubble 
like threatening them and like scaring them and stuff so they wouldn't tell you what he's telling you because he doesn't care he'll be like you could deport me i don't care but you're not gonna treat me like this you know what i'm saying um he says that yeah i mean that's pretty scary to think that you get to that point where you know like you want to leave venezuela for a better life but you come and here and get treated that. like this and, and that's why like, i was telling him that's why i don't want him to live there he doesn't he does not i want him to have a better life you know what i'm saying like he does not have a better life there at all and then um he says that when you came the black lady was telling them to close all the doors and she was yelling at them to go back to their rooms and he ended up escaping Mira de la ventana cuando yo te tomé foto, ¿estás viendo? Que yo lo había visto a él desde ayer. Yo lo vi a él desde ayer. Um, he says that he was basically telling me how like um he was he doesn't understand what she's saying in English because he doesn't talk or understand English, but I do. And when I'm on the phone with him, I constantly hear her yelling at him and like telling him like stop telling people to Mami, bring you on the phone. Says that like with her, they she. They were basically yelling at him, telling him to like get a job, and like he's like basically being like maintained by them. If that makes sense. Like, so they yell at him to get a job, but they won't help him get the exactly. paperwork to get a job. He tu says chavo, that they chavo. like down him. They the what? She says he says that she walks around like snobby like she's like a snobby person and she walks around like she's bigger than anybody and he says that oh, you could tell by the way she spoke to me yeah i can show you the footage of her yelling at me yeah she was yelling at me once telling me to stop telling like stop um ordering him food and that that's not um my problem and i don't did you respond to her like the, he says you're not yeah, feeding I him right yeah what i she respond say? to him I, I actually responded to her and i said well if he's not receiving nothing there obviously i gotta get him something and she told me to mind my business that's what she said like over the phone and then i told him I have you ever been to the hotel like i you picked him up before yeah i picked him up there but they won't let me in. They, do you, if you go in the parking lot will they tell you to leave they tell me to leave immediately, but I'm always holding a camera up. Like, I got a camera set up sure. on a tripod and everything. I actually, like, see, I have gotten into a few altercations with her and, like, another person there, too. It was, Did like... You got a, her cat with her? Yeah. <laughs> and, like, I don't... He's, like... He looks like Arabian, but he works here, too. I got into an altercation with him, too, because I was telling them to stop, like, yelling at him and, like, treating him like that. Um, he says that they only treat the Spanish people like that. Like, it's, he feels like she is, like, racist towards them. And she's from New York City as well? Or? I'm not sure. What do you know? Most of the guardsmen are all from New York City. He knows her name, but he doesn't know where she's from. What is her name? He's trying to wait. He escaped through something really small and she he told her that he was going to talk and she tried grabbing him he said that that, that one the one that's recording you she's the meanest too she's the meanest yeah he said that yeah, she's, she's mean bitch. too because he's constantly telling me and like he says he doesn't know why the police doesn't defend them for them to talk that's why he was trying to like he ran out to talk to you because he doesn't know why the police doesn't defend them yeah like i feel like they're definitely like him because he's also had told them he had to go pick up some medication like right when that happened, that's why I said that was funny because I was on the phone with him. When the lady, when um, he told them, I had, I told the lady he has to go pick up some medication. His stomach, like he's going through like stomach problems. She said no. And he understood her when she said no. And then that's when he was telling me, oh, they're closing the doors. They're not trying to let us out. And I'm like, you need to come out because the pharmacy is going to close. You need to get your medication. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like they don't really care about their well-being. I feel like they just care about getting paid. Because he was been supposed to get his working papers. And now he's, like, telling me to, like, help him get, like, working papers. I've been buying him food. I've been um, trying to, like, help him with, like, different things. And then, like, I tell him, like, come live with me. Or I tell him, like, yo, we could, like, get a hotel. Like, you don't need to stay there. You know what I'm saying? And then he's like, no, I'm scared because they'll come looking for me and like things like that. I'm like, what do you mean they'll come looking for you? <laughs> like, that sounds crazy. Um, 
But like, yeah, he says he wouldn't receive. Because if he's not there, they're not getting paid. Yeah, so they'll come looking for him. Mm -hmm. And he says that he's like scared. They'll like do something. When to he him. first came up, he he played a message and read it saying that he got some, he gets money from them, but he doesn't know what to do with it because he doesn't know how to spend it or doesn't. He doesn't. He said that if they. He said no. The no. government doesn't give them money. The government gives the hotel money to provide for them. Mm. But they don't. They don't really give them nothing. They don't give them stuff. Because, that's why he escaped because he's saying that like his friends, they're like starving in there and they're going through stuff and he wants to help them. So he's like, he's at the point where he's like, I don't, I don't give a fuck. Like, you guys could do what the fuck ever, but I don't care. I'm gonna talk. That's basically what he's saying. He said no. The the government gives the hotel money to provide for them. And they don't provide for them. And not even just that, but he buys his own everything. Like I give him money, you know. Like they don't give them stuff. Like so, like. Whatever. I give him money. I give him money to buy necessities like soap, deodorant, food, things like that. That the hotel doesn't give. Him. Like at first, I thought the hotel was just like. At first, I thought the hotel was just like, okay, they're helping him stay there, but he has to figure out his own way. He said he was like, he was nervous, so he kind of like didn't understand what he was saying. He says that they don't, he doesn't know what they're doing with their money that the government is giving them. Like the government is basically, pero espérate, tú me estás poniendo nerviosa. The government is basically giving them, giving the hotel money to provide for them. He's saying that they don't know, he doesn't know what they're doing with that money because they don't give them nothing. Gotcha. And he said that when he told you that, it's like he got messed up when trying to like. Oh, the translation is messed up. Yeah. Like, I thought it meant like they gave him a debit card and he didn't know how to use it no, or something no, like no. that. So they don't give him any money. The government gives the hotel the money and the hotel is supposed it's to be taken care yeah, of. Yeah, and they don't because I give him, I buy him food. I buy him like deodorant, I buy him lotion, I buy him soap, like I buy him things he needs, I buy him clothes, I buy him things he needs. No, the hotel gets paid to provide for them, give them their necessities that they need and they don't even do that. And they give them like spoiled food, like I actually seen mold, like blue mold on food that he had. I'm like throw that out, you could get sick. And that's when I started buying him food. like. Like, do they feed like on a schedule like breakfast is at this time lunch is at this time dinner is at this and time he, said or? Que de he says yes but it's not food like it's like it's like snacks like say breakfast say breakfast comes around what boy did they give him for breakfast he said they give him a small, like a small little, like sandwich, right? And baby food and water. Baby food and water? Yeah. <laughs> pictures, I need pictures, more and pictures. He said he needs a photo of that. So that's what they give him for breakfast. What about lunch? Is it the same, it's same all meal? The same thing. And he says that sometimes a sandwich is like molded. Like I've seen him eat that food, like. Like these sandwiches come in a package or they make the sandwiches there? No, or? they don't make the, it's like, it's like, it look like TV, like once you heat up and like, that's what it looks like. It's like really, really small sandwiches and like, like, ba like actual baby food that are, is like food. It's supposed to be like food and water. He said you should have recorded when, when you came, he said you should have recorded because when you came, the people were bringing the food. I, I mean, I was recording the whole time I was there. They were they were bringing in a box, a box. They were bringing in boxes in that cart. Those bo the box on the cart was all marked hand sanitizer. He says no. It's a lot of hand sanitizer. Is food in that packaging? Yeah. He said all the like the like the people. He says they look. They'll like find a way 
for them not to talk to you. Like, you're not the only one, like, the only news person that's came there trying to talk, and they don't let them talk, basically. That's what he's saying. But he said that that's food. But it's, like, cold food that, like, they heat up. It's, like, these little small sandwiches. Um, but I've seen him, like, eat crackers, though, like, throughout the day. I'm like, you need to stop eating that. Like, that's not even healthy for you. You're not eating meals. He says, like, he says they get food, but they don't really get food. Right here. He said that's fucked up. Hey, otra cosa que te voy a decir. Yo porque se me dañó el teléfono. Yo tenía muchas cosas. This is the food? Esa es la comida, dice. He said yes. Dile que le eche un poquito más para atrás. Que ahí está la chama que la jefa. Cuando está antes de la comida, ya sale. He said before the food came, the lady that we're talking about came out. No sé qué, si es comida, no sé lo que. Sí, says hand sanitizer on that. Yeah, but he says that's food. So the when like news people come, they'll start like trying to do things to not make themselves look bad. Then they'll start closing stuff up Mami, dile que le to cover un, themselves que up. Le un pelo. I need footage of them yelling at you. I need yeah, footage of. Que yo te estén gritando y todo. I need footage of them threatening. If you talk to yeah, anybody I mean, about what's going on in here, we're going to deport you. If I can get that, if I can get a video of them threatening to deport him yeah. for talking to somebody, for doing anything like, like literally like asylum. <laughs> if they're going to deport him because he's talking to somebody to say what's going on in there, that is going to get them in trouble. We will get them help. At least I guess he's really he says that he has a video he could show you has a video, video when they were throwing out the food and they didn't feed them there but he's kind of like he was kind of like scared when he was recording but he has it and he can send all it right to so you. let me tell you something about this country like you can explain this to him recording is a is a it's god given is god getting god given right they can't stop you Le, they can't punish you for recording that's protected the highest law of the land protects video recording in New York State in you Nueva do York, not need York. consent to record yeah. somebody in, in as long York, as you're in the conversation he said he's scared no I believe it I mean like when he goes back he's scared like I want him to record to everything when he goes back if they, like if they threaten they're going to deport you you send me that video immediately and then we'll come get you he says he says that right here he was basically showing them on how like he had to go to the hospital because he was sick and stuff and they were trying to throw that paper out but then it's like if an arab or something like that it happens to them like they help them and then he was like some pictures of that and um, he was saying how um, basically he was telling them if he could get an Uber because he has no money to go to the hospital. They were denying him that. I had to actually pay for Uber to get to the hospital because he was he was asking the lady like he was asking the lady. Um, for like an Uber, he was telling her how he doesn't have no money and they didn't help them. But if like I was asked, they would help them. He feels like they ha like Arabs have something, have somebody that can help them. But the Spanish people don't have that type of help. When I, when I told him about um when I told him about you giving him money, he said like, would you really help him? Because he wants, he's trying to like get like a place, like he wants to leave. Because once they find out what he's doing with you, he's gonna get in trouble can get them threatening because he's like him talking to me is not illegal in this country no. it's freedom of speech freedom of the press freedom of him to go talk about the That's press that is like that is him. that is uh constitutionally protected they can't they can't do anything right the government brought them here and wants them here for some reason exactly. you know what i mean like what is the motive like I, that's something that maybe he can try to figure out why he's there that's why i was asking like when he came from Venezuela, was there a program saying, like, if you come to America, we're going to give you this, this, and this. And they decided to come, and they got here, and it's a different story. Or is mm -hmm. it more like... He just came here because he just wanted a better life. So, like, for instance, if I wanted to go to Mexico, if I wanted to go to Jamaica, if I want to go to Canada. You have, like, things. I like have to show my passport, my hands driver's license. I can't just come. Yeah, and I certainly can't just stay as long as I want. No, right? he came here illegally. Like, 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 by illegally, I mean, like, he didn't really have no help. He had to get through, like, um, 
So, like, when he crossed the border, like, he came through a fence, jumped the fence, came through where there wasn't a fence. He went through a lot of stuff. He had to, like, go days without eating. Is that how all these people got here? Or is, is there any other ways that they came in with government help? Like, I've Some seen an article. Like, see, I've seen just, an article where they flying people to no, like, cho- cities of their choices no, in this yeah, article. Like, but they don't say who who's doing it or where is it. It's see, just no. like... Some people, like, if you do got money like that, like, some people, they could get a ticket, like, a plane ticket to come over here. Like, my brother's girlfriend, she is a uh, Peruvian, and she got a plane ticket to get over here, but she is an immigrant. She doesn't have papers to work, none of that, but she got a plane ticket to get here. And so, for me, she basically took she the easy She came way. with a green card, though, uh, no, before she, she came doesn't have, No, she doesn't have a green card. She doesn't have none of that. So she also legally entered the country, mm-hmm. but, like, the government's just letting it happen? Pretty much, yeah. I'm not sure how she basically did it because she doesn't have a green card. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. She doesn't Like, for instance, I got I, I go to a church. Well, and that's how he got here. That's how he the got church is helping and, him? Yeah, the church is helping him. Yeah. What church? I'm not sure. He said, what church did you help to come here? In Texas. It's called Sagrado Corazón de Jesús. Is there a name sacred of it? Heart. Sacred Heart. In Texas. Yeah, he said Sacred Heart took Jesus. Help him in Texas. Texas. To get his papers and stuff. Yeah, that's that's basically what, what paperwork does he have now? He has immigrant paperwork. Basically, like, saying, like, okay, he's safe to be here, you know? Like, oh, you can't deport him back. Like, see, with, with what they do with immigrants... Does he have the paper with him? Or that's it's, a, it's in the hotel. In the hotel. Like, the, see, what they do with immigrants, like, some immigrants... That's how I was trying to explain to you in the, on the phone. Like, some immigrants, they got to wait. In the border they got to wait a while for them to like or for them to be like say okay it's okay for you to pass no he took it the hard way he ran through the border he passed the border and once you go to that church you're safe they can't do nothing to you they can't support you nothing like once you hit a church and you ask the church for help they can't do nothing to you and that church is called the sacred heart of jesus mm-hmm. in texas yes but it's different see it's different churches that can help you it's different churches that help immigrants like like certain it's certain churches but it's different churches that help immigrants you know what i'm saying like like let, let's say an immigrant came here from nicaragua or something came here and ran to a church like it's they could help them be like yo i need help they could help them get the papers whatever and it's like they're protected through- the way i see immigration is this if you want to come to america and immigrate in i say go for it but I would expect these people to get a job, right, exactly. support themselves. Started. So to me, it, it's messed up that they have all these I- illegal immigrants, because they're not asylum seekers. They, they come here illegally, they're not asylum seekers. Then the government's paying for them. But like, I think that's messed up. Because I feel like they're calling them asylum seekers to cover it up. Exactly. I don't think exactly. they're asylum seekers. Well, I mean, I understand, but, but I feel I'm like saying, they're saying that to cover it up. My, because my point is, I don't, I don't have any problem with anybody who wants to come to this country and live here. Mm-hmm. But I do have a problem with the government housing these people here, where they're using them. Number one, it looks like. Yeah, number two, number two, months. using a cover story that they're asylum seekers to get, you know, certain people to feel bad from. Like, you know, I, I, I did a story where I was at the migrant hotel before, and I called them illegal immigrants, and I call them asylum seekers, and I call them migrants. I call them all the different things, like, because I'm I wanted to stay kind of neutral. But like, there's a lot of people call me racist because I call them asylum. I didn't call them yeah, asylum seekers. And, and that's what I'm saying. And the like, facts is, like, when I ask people, I said, "Well, if they're asylum seekers, what are they seeking asylum from?" And nobody can answer that question. So therefore, more likely they're not asylum seekers. Exactly. Like well, most of those immigrants in that whole town would like to come out and talk to me, but they were just yes, afraid but, to, or they. Uh huh. That's what he's saying. And that's the reason that they would want to talk to me is because they're not being treated right. In there. Yeah, he says. That and the hotels keep them scared. Yeah, he says that the hotel was threatening the friends. Like, he was saying that when... He was on the phone with me when it was going on. And he was, like, saying, like, the hotel is basically threatening them. Like, saying, if you go out and talk to them, we're going to deport you. And then his friend, when they hit... Like, their friend was talking to them. They're like, yo, we need help. Like, we're dehydrated. Like, we're hungry. We need food. And then he was like, I'm going to go out and talk to them. And then they kind of, like, made, a like, a way. Like, he went out through, like, something. Like, it wasn't a door. He went out through, like, something. And they made a way for him to escape to come and talk to you. So, Erie County fam, after I talked to him and did my little investigation and got the scoop of what was really going on and, quite frankly, feeling sorry for the fact that these people are being mistreated so much, I actually went to the town hall of Cheektowaga to try to get some of this information to the right people 
And you'd be surprised at how these people don't want to know anything about it. It's almost like all the people I tried to get this information to just didn't care or either just wanted deniable plausibility to say that they didn't know and trying to show it to them, they didn't want to see it. I'm an attorney or the supervisor or someone up there about some information I have about the migrant hotels. About the what? Migrant hotels. Okay. Yeah, well, it's not an attorney. Yeah. yeah. On a humanitarian level. Yeah. Yeah. I just saw them. Um, oh. Well, yeah. That's who you want to talk to? I, want, attorney, or? I mean, I, I, I'd like to talk to the supervisor because I think um, some of the information that I have is very valuable. I mean, um, well, what's going on there is pretty much. Right About the, he's about the migrant situation, the humanitarian level, you said? Yeah, okay, well, who are you? I'm an investigative journalist, but I kind of interviewed one of the um, migrants last night, and Smith. I have a lot of information okay, to give. Smith. Hey, Dawn. Hi. My name is Dan. I'm an investigative journalist. Um, I, Do you have credentials? Yeah, I got the U.S. Constitution, um, okay. First Amendment, Freedom of the Press. Um, I run a, a YouTube channel called Auditing the County. I went there last night and uh, just video recorded out front for you know checking out mm -hmm. you know the, the scenery, what's going on, and I got one of the migrants who came out and spoke with me. I have a lot of footage that's like damning to this whole situation. I know the town of Chicago is not the most excited about it. I've seen some of the news articles saying you know like they tried to get in there to check like building codes and stuff and they were forced to leave and they wouldn't be leave entry but like in an essence what's going on there is human trafficking i don't know who to exactly talk to about it i'd like to talk to the supervisor um i would like to talk to i, I assume you're a town attorney no who are you no i'm the assistant to the supervisor okay so you're assistant to the supervisor so i have a lot of video footage of them talking about um the food they give them they feed them crackers and baby food jars. They get X amount of money for... Well, they, the organization that's that's working with them is DocGo. So that would be the organization that you would want to reach out to. But they're the one to doing this to these people. I understand, like... Unfortunately, we don't have, we don't have any, any precedence do over anything. what their, what DocGo is providing at this point. And we are still in litigation over the, over the situation, so there's really nothing that I can tell you at this point. Um, I, I got some video footage and evidence that might help you guys okay, possibly remedy that situation. The, so who would I speak chief to? Of police? We'll talk to the police yep, department. So there's nothing in this building to... Not this building. You'd have to go over to the police department okay. and share with them. Yeah, you certainly could reach out to the chief of police or someone over in dispatch. You can share your information with them. So like, I got pictures of one of the migrants yeah, at the know, hotel. It, it, there's really nothing that I can... That I that I can do with the situation, like I said, we're in litigation. You want so, to do something, though, right? Uh, that's not my place to say anything. I'm saying, as you see, fam, the supervisor's office doesn't even want to see anything, doesn't want to hear anything, and isn't willing to help whatsoever. Yeah, I would definitely me. reach out to the police chief because they're the ones that are overseeing, and also the National Guard, I believe, is involved over there. Yeah, the National Guard's on their side. They're the one guarding the the problem. They see it from the inside, so obviously they're not going to help. Okay. Like I said, those would be probably the best places for you to to go at this point. And your name was? Lynn. Lynn. What's your last name? With the supervisor's office. Lynn, what's your last name? I don't think you need to know that at this point. I mean, you work for the public, right? Yeah. I do. So, I mean, that's public information. It is. And you want, so you you want, you're not willing to dismiss? Yeah, no, I just, I'm not really comfortable with the fact that you're recording me at this point, so I Well, you're a public servant. It's a constitutional right that. to do that. Absolutely. We're going to get your last name. I mean, okay. it would just be, you know, appropriate for you to actually just give it. Yeah, sure. Well, you go like I said. If you respect the problem. Sure. Mm. Yeah, they call. I That's interesting. Every day. That's interesting. I talk to them every day. That's interesting that uh, you're not wanting to give out your name. Yeah. Well, Working for the supervisor. Yeah, your last name. Like I said, you certainly can research that if you want to. Wow. Well, yeah, that's interesting that you act like that. 
Well, as working for a public. Like <laughs> no, the people are going to think differently, of course. But I, I guess I, you hope, your help is uh, not very useful, so you can go back to work. <laughs> you have a great day. All Thanks right. for coming in. Like I said, reach out to the police department. I'm sure that they will be glad to answer any questions. I, like I said, I'm not sure if they'll be able to at this point because we're still in litigation. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Useless. We, of course, have an issue with regards to asylum seekers that have brought to this community and they're staying right now in uh, a hotel in the town of Amherst and two hotels in the town of Chicawaka. Another avenue I tried to reach out to would have been Mark Polencard, the Erie County executive, trying to get him the information about the migrants that I had. And I happened to run into him at a political debate that they were having and this year runner-up for county executive Dwayne Whitmer hit the nail on the head with these guys and exactly what's going on and what the politicians think about the migrants in these hotels. I'm actually going to take a, a pivot here when it talks about the migrants. One of my associates was able to interview a migrant staying in the Digit's place and what that person said is terrifying. What's going on in Digit Street is government-sponsored money laundering and human trafficking. These people are treated inhumanely. Whether you think they should be here or not, they're fed baby food and stale food. They're told if they talk to immigration attorneys or the media, they will be deported. This isn't a crisis about helping people, not helping people. Red blue politics is aside. This is a crisis of government failure. Kathy Hochul in New York City sent them here knowing that we'd accept them with no plan in place. And now these people are living, breathing human beings who are being treated worse than prisoners. I would stop this, these people from coming in, not because they don't want them here, not because they shouldn't be here, because our government does not have a plan other than put them there, take some photo ops, talk about how great they are, and then leave them on their own. We have failed these people. I would tell them not to come here because we have no plan in place to take care of or support them. What's going on in Digits is atrocious, and I hope the video comes out and you guys can see truly what's going on. Towards the end of the debate, I tried to get the information and tried to reach out to Mark about the immigrants, and as you can see here, he's going to run and wants nothing to do with it, fam. He has no care in the world for him, just interested in that photo op, like this guy said. Hey, Mark. I guess uh, that uh, footage that he talked about, the migrants eating uh, crackers and uh, stuff, I, I was the one who took that interview. I was wondering if you'd be interested in seeing some of that footage so that you could, uh, you know, get that uh, out to the right places. Can we send footage to our office? Oh, I mean, I would like to talk to you. I got a card here. You can send it to Peter Anderson, press guy. I'll take the card and give it to Peter. Thank you. That, that question for transparency and government should have been one for you, Mark. Erie County fam, how many of you think this county executive reached out to me to get a hold of that footage? Um, if you guess he didn't and they never reached out to me and they didn't care, you hit that nail on the head. They don't care. Eventually, fam, I will say I did find a certain agency that took the information and did a formal investigation and since then the Dingens Hotel was shut down and the migrants were bussed out and moved out of there to a different hotel.
so Erie County fam, it turns out that this Doc Go company had been sanctioned by the state attorney general's office, previously telling them to cease any limitations of freedom of movement or speech of the migrants from talking to the press. So after hearing this, we went to the new migrant hotel to check out the situation to make sure they weren't going to have a problem with us talking to the migrants. But as you'll see, this company is still limiting free speech in this country, even to the migrants. Hey, how are we doing tonight? Oh, uh, we don't need any help. We're just uh, doing some recording in public, that's all. What? what? Trying to talk to some of these migrants. Why are you going to hear? This is where the migrants are. This is what we want to talk to them here. You can't do that, though. Why not? You can't come over here. not allow you to record people without their permission. No. Oh, well, yeah, we've got it in America, yeah. I mean, you no. can't record people without their permission. No. Oh, I'm sure. You can't wear one of the both. We... Well, we're yeah, not, I mean, we can. On stuff on your guys property, so. Yeah, we can record people in public. We're just, we're just here to oh, talk. This is the YouTuber. We're, we're just here to talk to some migrants. This is the YouTuber from last time. We're just here to talk to some migrants. You guys got no yeah. problem with that, right? I'm going. Huh? No, you guys got no problem with talking to migrants, correct? No, I can't talk. We can, we can go back inside, guys. It's not bad. No, I'm saying you guys got no problem with us here. The press talking to migrants, do you? That was over quick. Amigo. You speak Sp Spanish? Oh, Espanol, si? Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Hey, hey. <laughs> Amigos, ayuda. Amigos, ayuda. So there they are calling this guy in, not allowing him to speak to the press. Amigos, ayuda. Amigos, amigos. Come talk. That was pretty good. That was that was pretty much what I was looking for. That's pretty much what I was looking for is for them to call him over for stopping from talking to us. He started to and he wanted to listen, but they were calling him over. You seen that? They don't want him to talk to us. It's only a matter of time before them all walk through here. Good. I want these guys to incriminate themselves by telling them we can't talk to these immigrants. I wonder if you think that... Get off the Y'all not property though. Negative. Report on the grass. Wow. Negative. Got to go on the grass. grass or whatever. You gotta get off, get off the property. We ain't on the property. Step off the property. You are on the property, bro. I got the property map right here if you want to see it. Huh? I got the property map right here if you want to see it. On the, this is a parking spot, bro. You're on the parking spot. Literally. Literally. This property, bro. Mm. Literally. Unfortunately, <laughs> the parking isn't all in their property. All right. And we what got other, permission from other, the property what, owner. What, what other property would this be for? Bro? Look at it. Right There's a portion of this easement that belongs to the we get, we get, we get permission this. from the manager to be here. Right there, right there, right there man. Oh. Look at it, right here. We got the, we got the property map. Property line right here. You want to see it? No. We got halfway into this parking stall. You guys can't be, you guys can't be telling these migrants we can't speak to them. We're well, not, on, not your on your property. property. You are on the property. This is the property. No, the property line's right here. Check it out. It right here. Yeah, this is actually, this part is part of the, the Denny's parcel. We have permission to be here from the owner. Right so here. So Denny sold you to come here? No, no. We got permission. We Look, this is the map right there. The red, orange line. Halfway through but this parking But Denny said that you could be here? Yeah, I got they permission. You, be on their you guys it's can't be, you guys property. can't be telling these migrants we can't speak to them. You so got Denny's you got a direct order from the attorney general saying that you guys can't be blocking these migrants from speaking to us. So the members of the Denny's press. said that you can be on the property? I got permission to be on Denny's property. Do you have it in writing? I got it on video. Okay, can I see this it? This is good. I don't need to show it to you. I don't need to prove nothing to you. Oh. The property doesn't start till halfway through this parking stall right here. Okay. I got the map in front of me. But you guys can't mm. be talking, telling these migrants we can't speak to them. You got a direct order from the attorney general of New York State. Mm, okay. 
Why are you guys stopping these people from talking to us? They don't want to talk to you. It what that guy do. there? You guys just called him over and I told him not to speak. Him. I didn't say anything. It's on video. I Why are you guys anything. doing that? I didn't do anything. It's friends. They have a freedom of speech here in America. Oh. They can speak to the press. Then ask him to just come talk to you then. I, I have another question. Are all the I just spoke to one here and you guys called him over and told him to stop oh. talking to me. Are all the security What's your question, bro? licensed by the state? Because I know... Do your research. Well, you're asking us for information. We're asking you, uh, hey, I just asked and you didn't want to play nice in the sandbox, so neither do I. Who's who's not playing nice with you? You're not playing nice. How? You guys aren't being nice. How? I'm you telling you guys, nice. you just stopped a migrant from speaking to me after anyone. you guys got a order from the attorney general stop to stop anyone. them, stop I from stop freedom anyone. of movement and freedom of speech. I didn't stop I, I got a question for you guys. What is your point of recording? Because because I, I got evidence that you guys are treating these immigrants dirty. Oh. <laughs> what, what did we do that dirty? Though? From their what own mouth, you're gonna that? learn it. From your own mouth, from his own mouth, you're gonna learn it. Mm. From his own mouth, you're gonna what, what the fuck does that even mean? Because I spoke to one. I, I interviewed one of these guys at the Dingens Hotel. He told me what you guys what goes on through here. He told me about how you talk to these people too. Mm. Well, you guys can't stop these immigrants from speaking to us. You guys were you guys were sanctioned by the Attorney General of New York State. Do you work at Denny's? He said that he has your permission to be over here and that the property line starts here for Denny's. The property line does start there for Denny's, like you permission to park. Okay. Oh snap. Ooh. We're not here. We're not here for no ill will. We're just here to investigate what's going on here. Okay. For security, do you guys believe? And then, and then you literally just stopped an immigrant from speaking to us. Do you guys believe? What do you guys got to hide in here? Do you believe your contract with DocGo shields you from a civil rights lawsuit individually? I don't know what that means, bro. We should look into that. <laughs> I guess. Don't you dare stop me from speaking to another immigrant walking through here. I don't want to hear you guys hollering and hooting. You guys got a direct order from the attorney general to stop that. You guys got nothing to hide, then what's the problem? Nobody's hiding anything. I didn't say anything. Dismissed. Then why are they over here complaining? Right then, get off the property, stop talking to these people, why? Dismissed. Dude, that was great. <laughs> then his manager came oh, over and told him to shut it. Oh, snap. <laughs> It's only a matter of time before another one comes walking over from wherever they leave to. Because they're allowed to walk and leave and come and to and go to and fro. Dude, too good. The National Guard ain't trying to come out here today. He, he did come out briefly because I think they just badgered him so much. He just came out and stood there. Got in his truck briefly. They moved them all inside, that's for sure. Yeah. We'll be back. We got permission to be here. That was great. The manager Dude, came out right in the dismissed. middle of it. Dismissed. Dismissed. So hard. <laughs> what did you, like, what oh, did you say? I said, oh, oh snap. snap. <laughs> she goes, mm hmm. Somebody going to have to cross that one. There is more to come, fam. There is more information about this. Then there will be a part three about the migrant hotels and the limitations of freedom of speech and limiting of the press after they've been sanctioned by the state attorney general to stop and they're still doing it fam so there will be a part three i would like to hear all your comments in the comment section of what you think about what is going on here in this hotel and in this country please leave your comments for what you think about this whole thing i can't wait to hear what you guys have to say and i will see you guys in the next one but there will be a part three film already taken we live in a society now where people want to record how they discipline their child the people that might get mad with this video is the people that probably already embarrassed their child you can't you can't discipline your child in their room take something away from them if they act up well, i'm like son you can't play the game you understand that it goes against the constitution I don't have anything to do with it as far as following the Constitution. We have to figure that out. You pull the Constitution out of your pockets out here. Like that was supposed to prove something. First Amendment, freedom it's of the press. Your name is not Dan Erie County. Um, this isn't Erie County. Yeah. Sure it is. I'm here is Dan Erie County. Legitimate? Maybe. Official? No.